This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. Hey guys, Shannon Morse here from RSA Conference 2013, and I found Iron Key by Amation. This is Chris Louie, who is showing me their brand new software. Chris, it is great to see you today. You How are you doing today? Doing well. How about yourself? Doing all right. Thank you. Now, you guys, I know a little bit about Iron Key, but for anybody that doesn't, tell me a little bit about the history of the company. Sure. So, Iron Key was started by a grant from the Department of Homeland Security, and our goal was to make the world's most secure flash drive, and we succeeded in doing that. That's awesome. Now, I am pretty familiar with some of the older flash drives that you guys have implemented, but what is new this year? What we have this year is actually our Iron Key workspace device. This is a completely bootable option. It has Windows 8, and it takes advantage of the feature called Windows to Go that was in recently introduced in Windows 8. You know, it's about time they started including that. I've been doing little bootloaders forever on my flash drives, and half the time they break. It's nice to finally have that easily included in Windows 8. Yeah, that's right. And it's a feature that's been highly requested before, and now it's officially certified and licensed by Microsoft. So is your specific Iron Key workspace also certified by Microsoft? Yes, this is the Iron Key Workspace W300 product. We are Microsoft certified. We offer the fastest read and write speeds of any Microsoft certified device, up to 400 megabyte read and 325 megabyte write. Wow, that's super fast. Now is this, uh, I'm assuming it's USB 3.0, is that correct? Yes, in order to be Microsoft certified, you have to be USB 3.0. Okay. okay, good to know. Now tell me a few of the specs. Like, do I have to run a super fast computer to be able to use this guy? The beauty of this is you can plug it into any computer that's certified for Windows 7 or Windows 8, and it'll just run. The drivers are already on the device. You just plug it in, boot from USB, and you're ready to go. All right, I'm going to ask you a secret. Can I use this with my Linux computer and like my Mac at home? As long as the hardware will support Windows 7 or Windows 8, you can plug it in and it'll boot. It may not be certified by Microsoft, but it'll boot. Now, who's your target market for this guy? We're targeting mobile workers, uh, disaster recovery solutions, and compliance issues where users have to use separate workspaces but share the same hardware. And does this new flash drive have all the nice security that's included with all the Iron Keys products? Yes, we offer a variety of products. We have an entire family of workspace products, anywhere from software encryption all the way up to FIPS Level 3 certified hardware encryption. Okay, what kind of specific encryption is included? It uses the AES 256-bit encryption, which is the current government standard for encrypting data. Very, very nice. Nice and unbreakable. I love it. Now, how much does it cost, and where can people find more? So the device will retail for about $100. And if you'd like to know more, go to our website, which is www.ironkey.com. Awesome. Thank you so much, Krish. Budding entrepreneurs, startups, and innovators are all turning ideas into realities online, backed by the strength of a .NET domain name. .NET is globally known. It's one of the world's most popular domain extensions. A .NET domain name injects your business with instant credibility. Entrepreneurs and startups will immediately discover the advantages of building their web presence around a .NET domain name. Already have a .com? Purchase the corresponding .NET and protect your online brand. Is the .com that you want already taken and you don't want to register a .com domain name that's like 20 characters long? The .NET is a perfect alternative. You can find a new .NET domain at domain.com. I like domain.com because they're affordable. .NETs are only $8.99 a year. They're reliable and they're really easy to use. Plus, Domain.com's active social media presence on Twitter at Domain.com and their really great customer service make it a fun place to do business. So the guys at Domain.com want to hook up our fans with an awesome offer. You can get 15% off their already affordable domain names and web hosting when you use the coupon code HAK5 at Domain.com's checkout. That's 15% off and big savings. So don't forget to use the coupon code HAK5 and when you think domain names, think Domain.com. As Darren would usually say, it's time once again to check port 110. This week, Paul says, I started playing with NCFS to encrypt and hide sensitive data locally only a few days before seeing that week's show. After putting all my private stuff away, he runs fuse mount tack u with the folder path, for example, in our example, it's tilde forward slash private, to unmount the decrypted folder. That way it just looks empty, as I mentioned when we did our first one on restart. Now at first glance, it's going to pass right over it. So even if you do make the mistake of leaving your computer logged in and un unattended, or your login is cracked, all your sensitive data will be nicely hidden away and not asking to be peered through. Although 
you need to make sure your encryption folder is hidden and everything, at least to the untrained eye, is gone. Now, it's probably newbie tricks, but it's handy newbie tricks, no? Thanks, Shannon. And I should say that, uh, Paul, you bring up an interesting point. And, you know, I will not poo-poo obscurity because I think that, you know, it's fun. Like, when I was a kid, I used to actually create, what is it, like folders inside of like, I don't know, slash Windows slash System32, and I would name the folder an alt character code, alt0126. I think that's what it was. It looked like, or alt160, I think it was, yeah. Uh, it would look like a space, but it wasn't a space. It was a null character, and if you tried to open the folder, it would give you an error because Windows Explorer didn't support that particular character, which was a really cool thing, although you could still get there if you opened up the command prompt, navigate there through DOS, and then do start space dot, it would, you know. So it, never rely on that for your security. And I think that using NCFS or EncryptionFS is still a great uh, first step, and there, I, I guess I would say there's nothing wrong with adding that kind of stuff on top of it, but don't rely on that because, you know, if you, you say walking away from your computer, well, consider cold boot attacks. Your encryption key is active, you know. Um, uh, now, some people would say that that's theoretical, but, you know, I don't know. What, what do you have on there that's that interesting that somebody yeah. would run off with your laptop, freeze your RAM, and recover the key? Or, um, you know, same thing could be said about, you know, using encryption and then sending, setting your laptop to go into sleep mode or suspend instead of, like, uh, you know, properly shutting it down. So all things to consider. Uh, either way, very cool that you're using NCFS, and I look forward to hearing what you guys think as well. So as always, feedback at hack5.org. And uh, from Amsterdam, I'm going to hand it back to you, Shannon. Cheers. And now it's time for our Technolus photo of the week. Yay! And this one is from a whole slew of people. Our first one is from Daniel, and his son is hacking away on his EPC. Elliot Friend's little girl is getting started really early, and these are two from Archiver and his little one, Alexis. And she's, of course, watching the show. And last is from Robin. This one is our youngest supporter. Congratulations, Ro Robin, and congrats to everybody else with your adorable little hackers. And, of course, you can always send your photos to feedback at hack5.org. Org. And next up, trivia. Last week's question was the first 24 bits or OUI of the 48 bit MAC address, which is 00000012345, belongs to what company? And the answer is Xerox. Now, this week's question is scanning is performed in which phase of a pen test? Answer over at hack5.org slash trivia for your chance to win some awesome Hack 5 swag straight from us to you guys. Now, of course, we always value your feedback, so you can go over and email us, feedback at hack5.org, with everything that you like. Anything that you don't like, if you see some differences with the camera this week, let us know. See what you think. Everything like that. And, of course, you can always follow everything that we do over at hack5.org slash follow. You can find links to the social networks that we're on and whatnot, find out what conventions we're going to, all that good stuff. And definitely check out hackshop.com. Sarah takes care of the store over there, and she does a great job making sure that everything gets out to you guys. Wi-Fi pineapples. We also have the new travel bundle, which I'm sure you guys definitely have to check out. And last but not least, check out ThreatWire. It's our brand new show about internet security. You can find all the information about that at threatwire.org. With all that said, I'm Shannon Morris. Remember to trust your technolust. All the fish, small fishes, my precious. Ha, ha, ha.